What's going on everybody, my name is Tyler Potts and in today's video we're going to be looking at Few Free for the first time and so in particular the Few Composition API. Now what the Few Composition API does is it allows you to basically have hooks just like how React has its own hooks. You can have hooks such as um, Ref, uh, Computed, Reactive and I explained some of these in the video uh, we're going to create now or the app we're going to create now, sorry. Um, but the first thing is, let's start off with installing the Few CLI so we can actually create our first React or Few app. So what we're going to do here is paste in here and as you can see here it's just a simple npm install globally the few cli now this should install the latest version of the few cli which is 4.6 or 4.5 i think it's 4.6 and once you have the few cli installed you'll be able to create a new few free application so without further ado i'm going to hit enter and i will see you once this has installed Okay guys, so as you can see, it's now installed the few CLI packets. So I'm actually just going to CD into my desktop and into a temp folder. And then we're actually just going to run few, create, and then we're going to give it a name. And in this one, I'm just going to call it the clicker app. And I'm just going to allow it to in create this app. So it's going to ask us, uh, your connection to your yarn registry seems to be slow. Use the faster installation. Yeah, sure. Any, I don't mind. Um, and what's it say here? It says, do we want to use the default few two or the few free preview? Which obviously we're looking at few free today, so we're going to be using few free preview. I'm going to use npm, but you can also use yarn if you want to for this tutorial. Um, so I'm just going to let this install, and I'll see you once this app has been created. Okay, guys. So as you can see, the clicker app has now been completed. So what we're going to do is cd into clicker app. I'm going to open this up in Visual Studio Code, uh, close this, move this up here into a new window, and then, oh, I just opened my settings, I am so sorry. And then what we're going to do is say npm run surf, hit enter, and this is obviously going to start our development surfer and open it up in our browser. So it's now done. Let's just copy this because it hasn't actually opened it up in my browser. No idea why. I think maybe it doesn't do that. I thought it did. Uh, bam, there we go. We've got our few application. Awesome. So let's go to our code here. Uh, once we've got our code, we're obviously now need to click into source. So everything we do in few, as even like in few two, it's all done within the source. We've got our components and our assets. So I'm just going to delete our assets. And I'm going to delete our components. We're not going to make this a component-based app. We're just literally going to be creating a simple app built with inside here. Um, uh, it looks like my I'm going to install Future uh, by PineWoo. Uh, this will allow us to have syntax highlighting and everything auto-correct. I think we need in there auto-correct, auto-completion um, and stuff like that. So this installing and I'll see you once that's done. Okay guys, so Future has now been installed and as you can see we have syntax highlighting in our .few file. Now what we're going to, I've, I've cleaned it out, I've removed the components folder and the assets folder, removed all the assets, removed everything from it and it's completely stripped back app.few file. Now we're just going to be using the one file for now, we're not going to be creating components because this is going to be a very simple app just to teach you the basics of few free and what I've learned so far. So this is what we're going to be doing in this uh, video we're going to be taking this and we'll be creating a simple click increase and decrease app to increase and decrease a state um, and I'm just going to show you how you would do that in a uh, few free and I'm not going to lie to you it's pretty awesome so let's get started so the first thing we're going to do is we've got a hello hello world now we're actually obviously before you used to create a data I believe it was data you would it would be a method sort of thing and you'd you'd pass all the data you wanted to return and be able to see inside of your template through that but now there is a new way of doing it called setup uh, we pass this method called setup and we do everything so our methods our data our computed anything we need to return and show in our template is done inside this setup folder or oh, folder <laughs> setup uh, block scope <laughs> So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to simply uh, create a um, or return some data to re return in here. So let's create just literally a simple title uh, and it will just be hello Tyler 
but this isn't going to do anything. We can't actually, we can't just go in here and say title. We can't use the um, the lovely brackets here and say title. Uh, whoops. Um, because that's not going to work. We're going to get an error. What we need to do is we actually need to return anything inside of the set function. We need to return everything we want to be accessible inside our templates in here. So we need to pass through title. If we go back, you can see it now says hello Tyler. Awesome. So that is now updated. Um, but this isn't exactly the reactive way to do it. So that's cool and all, but it's not. It's not it. Let's actually change this now. Let's remove this. That's cool. Let's remove this out of here. And it's not going to be reactive. You update a title anywhere, it's not going to update in your code. Uh, because we need to use something called either ref or reactive. And I'm going to show you examples of both. So let's first import, like how you do in React, ref, oh, and then we're going to say from few. So what we're doing here is we're importing this like how hooks are imported in React. We're importing few uh, ref from few. So we're just getting this uh, uh, reference to the or importing the ref from few. And then what we can do in here is say const and let's say count is equal to ref. And then we pass through a default value, which in this case is zero. And then we can pass through count. So up here, let's just get our count. Count. And this is using the composition API, this all this stuff here, which is absolutely awesome. The composition API is just so cool. Uh, so we're passing through count. Let's go back and you can see we get zero. Uh, title is not defined. Yeah, we know we've, we've removed title. Sorry about that. Um, awesome. So we've got this. We've got all the data we need. Um, we've got our count. But now we need to actually update it, right? We want to be able to increase that. So let's create a new function. Call it incre increment. Uh, oh. Yeah, increment, and then we're just going to, uh, what we're going to do is say count dot value is plus plus. And then we're going to pass through our function increment in here. There we go. Let's create a button which uses the uh, click event, uh, and we're going to pass increment. And then we're just going to say increase value. Safe. So what we've just done here is obviously if you're new to few and you haven't done few two before, what this is is we're binding or binding a click event called increment, which we've returned in our setup from function um, to our button. So when we click, it's going to call this function inside of here. You could also do phi hyphen on with these colons, uh, click, and it will allow us to do that. But for now, we're just going to use at and then click, which is awesome. So let's go back here. And let's actually click the button. And as you can see, it increases the value, which is awesome. Um, but what happens if we want to decrease it? Uh, we can create another function called um, decrease. Uh, and then in here, obviously, we'll just go count.value minus minus. Now, the reason we're using value is because this obviously returns an object with um, obviously different things and different. So if you can deal with it in there, so we get the reference. Um, from here and we've got oh so just how you let's say in react you would update your state using set state in this we use dot value to update our value because obviously strings in um javascript are immutable you can't actually update them how you would do is you'd create a new string and add your updated value in there so that's kind of what we're doing here um and that we've got decrease so let's pass decrease through here and we can create another button with an at click event again and call decrease. And we'll just say D decrease value. We could just say decrease. I don't know why I'm adding value. Doop, boop, save. Cool. So let's go back and actually we get decrease and we can go straight into the negatives and up the positives and down negatives, which is awesome. That's cool. But let's say we want to show the double of this um, H2. So we want uh, the double value. Uh, ref isn't going to be the best way to do that. We don't want to create another constant called double and then have to update it. So I'm going to show you something else. But first, let's combine these two functions. So we don't need two functions. Let's remove decrease. Let's just call this uh, update count. And in here, we're going to pass through a parameter. Let's say it's called increase. And we're just going to say if increase, or oh, not increment, increase so if it's true we're gonna up it if it's false 
we're going to dot value minus it. Awesome. So we don't need these values. We just need the one update method. Pass that through. And up here, we can pass through update count. Now, what we're going to need to do is obviously call it as a function because we need to pass through a parameter. Now, before in view, you used to have to use an arrow function, else it would call instantly. So when you didn't, when you just did this, it would call this instantly when the app loaded. But now you can actually do this without worrying about uh, calling. So now we can just say true, and we can also say false. So what we're doing here is it was passing through the parameter of true and the parameter of false. Um, which will allow us to increase and decrease. So let's go back and make sure it's still working. Increase, perfect, decrease, working, awesome. So that's all cool, but I wanna do a bit more of this. So I'm actually gonna remove the ref and we're gonna change it out for something called reactive. Now reactive allows us to handle our state a lot better. So what we need to do now obviously is remove count and we're actually gonna completely remove it and change it out for state. And we're gonna sell it equal to reactive which is going to have an object inside and in this object we can actually now have count and we can pass through zero like we did before and as you can see in our update count obviously this isn't isn't going to work we need to actually say state dot count we don't actually need to say state dot count dot value anymore we just literally go state dot count so we annihilate the use of uh, dot value we no longer need that so we can remove that and we can say state dot count so there you go. So that's now how we do it. And we ask, we now have to pass our state through our return. And up here we can say state.count. Awesome. So now we've got this reactive component, uh, which is awesome. So count is not defined. Uh, where have we got count, which is not defined? I think we just need to refresh. There we go. Cool. Um, awesome. So now we can still increase and decrease like we was before. Let's zoom in a little. Uh, so you can see we can increase and decrease as we did before. Uh, that's cool, but what's what's the point of doing this this longer process if it's gonna you know there's no no benefits to it. Well, what we can do in here is we can actually obviously compute stuff. So we can actually pass through another hook of computed, um, and what we can do with compute is we can say double. Let's say we want double the count. So what we're gonna say is computed, and then we can obviously pass through an arrow function and we can say state dot count or not computed state dot count times two so what we're doing here is we're getting the state we're obviously got count and then what we're doing is when we call state dot double we get the count and we're going to double it using the computed value so we're going to get the state file computed and obviously times it by two awesome so let's hit save let's go up here and let's create a comma and say doubled equals and then obviously we'll just say state dot double awesome go back and as it said doubled is equal to zero if we increase we get double the value so doubled is equal to 20 when it's 10 obviously if we decrease uh, it goes down and up and down and up now this is the very basics of the few composition api and the few um few free so this is a very simple app. Now, in the next video, we're going to be creating the income tracker I created for the React app. So we'll create in there, it will take in, uh, it takes in obviously a description, it takes in the day, and then it completely handles everything inside of that and outputs a list of dates you add as you add them. Now, that's just confusing. I've confused my own brain, but you'll understand once you see it. Um, so in the next video, we'll create something a little bit more complex using a little bit more functionality in it so you can actually see... Um, how we can create some different components using this and how it all works together. Now, I absolutely love how this works. Um, I think Few Free is awesome and I think we're going to do some awesome things in the future. So let me know if you enjoyed this video by hitting that thumbs up button. Give, leave me a comment if there's anything I've got wrong or if there's anything you want to add or anything you want to know. Uh, just drop me a comment in, down below. And finally, guys, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell. And you'll know exactly when my next video goes live. So thank you very much for watching this video, guys. And peace out.